Hey guys, this is Richard from MTG Goldfish, and today I have a playtest video for you guys of the new Elspeth vs. Kiora dual deck. So this dual deck will be released February 27th for a MSRP of 19.99, and it contains two pre-constructed decks designed to play against each other. So Kiora is a kind of green, blue ramp deck, and Elspeth is kind of a soldier white weenie deck. So the dual deck comes with new artwork on some of the existing cards, including the brand new Mother Runes, which looks very, very sweet. Uh, so I have Seth with me here today. He's going to help me play test. So let's jump right into it. Okay, Seth, so how do you think the decks will play out? Which deck? Do you think they're balanced, or do you think there's a deck that's better here? Um, I'm pretty sure that the white deck is going to run over the Kiora deck. I just can't imagine... I'm playing Kiora in the first uh, match here, and I just can't imagine being fast enough to keep up with all of your 1 and 2 drops. So I'm expecting to get smashed, and even if I do get to my fatties, Elspeth just cleans them up with her negative 3, so I'm not sure how I win this, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you, but I don't think you're going to get run over, but I think Elspeth's cards are much better because her minus ability is a sweeper against all of your finishers. And also Decree of Justice is another sweeper. So we'll see how it plays out. I don't know how, how fast this white weenie deck is, but maybe it'll just be able to run you over. Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so let's hop into the game here. And uh, you've won the die roll. Or... Uh, looks like I will play first then. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to keep this. Uh, my hand looks pretty good. I'll keep. Seems like I have Evolving Wilds in way too many <laughs> decks that I play, but it seems to always happen. I will play Planes and pass the turn. Oh, at least there's no Mom. I'm not sure how I beat Mom. Mom is good, but I don't know how good she is here, because I don't know how much removal you have. Um, well, I'm green and blue, so not a ton. All right, so here's your first test. Can you beat a precinct captain? <laughs> <laughs> precinct captain's really good. That is... Ooh, well, that's not bad. I do like me some Mana War. Go with the tempo plan, I guess. Oh, Mana War is a great card. I don't know this deck list very well. I'm not sure if Kiora's Follower is just for ramp or if there's actually some sort of combo. That would be pretty sweet. Um, Something to untap for value. So let me, I have to read my cards for a second here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I guess that's an interesting card. <laughs> okay, we'll just do this. Uh, vintage masters right there. Uh, okay, I didn't play. I didn't play that much vin vintage masters. That's why I have no idea what this card does. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that was part of one of the best decks in vintage masters. That and uh, battle screech. Oh, battle screech is a nasty card in limited. I was wondering why they gave me netcaster spiders, and I guess that's to block your harriers. Good thing my guy gets removed from combat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I'll just take some Man of War beats. Getting in there with the two dudes. So I guess I'm going to play this. guess my plan is to go to the air here. Oh. All righty. Oh. Well, that's a disappointing draw. <laughs> <laughs> a land that won't tap for mana. So the new Temple of the False Gods, which is not this one, has some pretty sweet art. Yeah, this one... Yeah, the new one is really cool. I really actually liked all the new art from uh, this dual deck. I was pretty impressed. Do you like um, the new mom or no? I like the old one too, but the the new mom does look pretty cool. Someone pointed out it looks like she has birds of paradise on her head or something. 
I don't know if you notice that. If you look close, she has like a Birds of Paradise headdress. Interesting. Pretty nifty. I think the new mom looks cool, but she doesn't look mommy enough to me. I like the old mom. <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot when you have an iconic card like that for the new art to actually top the old art, I think. All right. I'm just going to kill the uh, Kiora's follower here. That's what you think. Oh no. What is uh, yeah. this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that I'll, value though. I'll accept More. appeal from reality. <laughs> oh, then I get to replay my mana war. Life is good. So I'm off to a pretty good start here. <laughs> oh, you have multiple Harriers. Um. Oh, that didn't work out. Can't find that fifth land to turn on my temple. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> odd card. Yeah, I guess it's so I can, in theory, cast my Inkwell Leviathan, but here comes the beats. Well... Uh, soldiers for days because here comes the namesake card of the deck oh yeah, no <laughs> yeah, counter spell. nope yeah I needed a something okay I think this I is think... Gonna... <laughs> I think I've got it here but hold on <laughs> wait can you beat another accumulated knowledge <laughs> there's my lands um one two three four one, two. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I think I can live one more turn, but I don't think it matters. I don't. I don't know. If, oh, no. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the only way I can survive another turn. All right. All right. Soldier down. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so bad. And, yeah. The problem is I don't even know what outs this deck has to this board state. I don't know if there are any ether eyes, I guess. I'm having a fun time here. <laughs> <laughs> this went, um, oh no, almost exactly as I expected. Okay. <laughs> That's good enough. No, I wanted to attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this deck doesn't actually come with sideboards, right? So No oh, sideboards, so we get to do that again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know Maybe if you have a way to catch up once you fall behind. Do you have... I guess you have Aether Eyes. That's it, right? I think that's it, yeah. So I guess I just have to not fall behind. Uh, and there's a No Lander. So I guess we're going to six. Okay. We'll try it. Oh, I do have a, another way of catching up, sort of. All right. I don't know what it is. We'll have to save it for the surprise. Yes, it, it'll be a surprise. This deck could use a uh, Champion of the Parish, I think. <laughs> yeah, Champion would be good, good in that deck. Or what's the 2-1 bird that needs a soldier? No, is it a one to cast 2-1? Oh, Loyal no. Pegasus, yeah. maybe? No, no, it was, a, some... it was a bird, yeah. though, wasn't it? Oh, uh, maybe it was. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. That would be sweet in this deck. Uh, this deck could use um, some Moxin, maybe a Black Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> it, still, it still might not be. Uh, I guess we're back to casting spiders and hoping for the best. Okay, so when it blocks a flying creature, it pumps itself. Okay. Ooh, secluded. Uh... Uh, I guess we'll play this. Yep. This deck is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty good. I'm I'm getting soundly beaten by it, that's for sure. Oh, no Kiora? All my stuff is just so expensive. Or just so bad. Some combination of expensive and bad. So other soldiers get plus zero, plus one. Uh... 
Oh no. I feel like you could get this deck and like make incremental improvements pretty cheaply to it. Yeah, there's some really powerful with the soldier sub theme. You yeah. can definitely add in some cheap and powerful rares that didn't come with the deck, that's for sure. Um Uh, Ooh, five mana. What is this? <laughs> Banish you. Top creature. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess. That's the thing. All my removal is like bouncing, and all your cheapers are so creatures are so cheap. It doesn't really seem that effective. Yeah. Like oh, bounce your two two, replay it, enter the battlefield trigger. I still lose. Okay, I want you to bounce it. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, I have my secret weapon. I'll play right into it. I feel <laughs> like I want a Spear of Heliod or something here, or a Honor of the Pure. Yeah, that would be really good in that deck, too. Another good cheap addition. I don't even know where to start improving this deck, honestly. Um, hmm. Well, I don't think this... Uh, really like, matters, but whelming wave every. Oh, do you actually have like krakens and uh, leviathans I think that, in your deck? I think I have inkwell leviathan. If I ever get to nine mana before you kill me. Okay. So it feels bad to bounce all your two drops when bounce my five drops. Big tempo lost. One, two, three, four, five. I have six mana. And Elspeth, of course. Oh. No Elspeth. Uh, I guess that's kind of a relief. <laughs> uh, maybe this is the plan? To get back in it two <laughs> life at a time? So I'm pretty sure you just tap my things and I lose, right? Well, I go to one, so not quite dead yet. But... What's Battle Cry do? It's all attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero, right? It is. Okay. You have Contested War Zone or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's in these decks. Okay. So I guess I just like bounce all your stuff, right? Or tap all your stuff. That is probably the thing to do. I'm gonna say this. This is a lot more one-sided than I thought it would be. I thought it would be closer than this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Are you feel like I. Draws? I I don't know. I guess. Oh jeez. I don't know if I just played poorly or had bad draws, or if this deck is just way slower than your deck. Oh wait, I pumped the wrong guys. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I still have an out. I need my something. Etherize, maybe. Which I don't have. Like, why would Magic Online play the new cards to the left? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I'll gain two life. And I think I am just dead. Died with a scourge of fleets in hand. Four. What does that card do? That's that is one of my Kraken Kraken, oh. I guess, that bounces all creatures with toughness less than itself. Oh, less than the number of islands I control. I see. Um, yeah. I'll let you attack me this time. It's not fun this time. I didn't massively pump my team. <laughs> uh, blocking doesn't even matter. Okay. Well, that was about what I expected. Well, now it's time for you to return the beatdown. I guess I'll grab the green, green, blue deck, and we'll see what what happens. Maybe I'll draw Kiora. Maybe we'll <laughs> we'll get to play with the Planeswalker. <laughs> we'll see. It's worth a shot. I'm ready for some revenge.
Okay, okay so we swap decks. I'm playing the Kiora deck now, and Seth is playing Elspeth. So I won the die roll, so I'll go first. Oh, this looks so much better. This hand looks really weird, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I think this is how you're supposed to play the deck. Uh, we'll keep. Probably some, some one mana ramp creatures would be good in that deck, I bet. Birds of Paradise or uh, Avacyn's Pilgrim or something. Yeah. Uh-oh. I didn't want this. <laughs> Getting punished already. <laughs> Exploring. Things are falling apart already. <laughs> Oh, my turn with the precinct captain. Oh my gosh. The card's too good. <laughs> yeah, it comes down a little faster than Inkwell. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, time to gain some life. Oh, I guess we'll get in there. With the precinct captain. Yep. Oh, no blocks. Do I have giant growth in this deck? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Does it just it enters with how many counters on it? I think a single one. count. Okay, one. so it can ping once. Yep. There's some white direct damage right there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, accumulating some knowledge. Uh, the life gain actually seems pretty good from the antidote. <laughs> well, the problem is <laughs> you're going to make some pretty big soldiers and just kill me in one swoop. That is the plan. Um, hmm. uh, just block the javelin. Maybe just gain two life. <laughs> <laughs> so bad yeah now you know how I'll, I felt the last right, two games I think I think I want to keep my guy around just think only four more mana and you're to inkwell you're almost there come on <laughs> <laughs> this mana base oh the temple Uh-oh. That's a lot of tapping. Uh... Limited All-Star. <laughs> Nespian Nasp. Nespian? Yeah, he was... Nessian. Nessian Nesp. Nesp. Yeah. He was definitely pretty good in Theros. Uh, now what? Um... Uh, I guess we go with the Sentinel. So is the untapping when you go into combat, is that just like a Gus Cloak mechanic? I don't even remember. It's a, there seems like to be quite a few flyers yeah. that have that ability. Yeah, I don't really know. There's a lot of those cards in that deck, though. It's really odd. Oh. Omen Speaker. Get your scry on. Uh... 
even some temples, like Temple of Mystery would be really good in that deck. Trend I have two, four, six. So uh, I don't oh boy. Oh jeez. No Elspeth yet. The problem is Kiora doesn't do anything against these tokens. She can only like stop. Yeah. Like one yeah. token. Okay, I don't that know is... what's going on here. This is a lot of attacking. This one, this goes here. I guess I'll tap it to take that thing. So you have the plus two plus two thing. Maybe. Oh, I don't want this ass to die, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tough position. You either take a ton of damage or risk your ass. Okay, I think I think we need to block. I think we can trade there. I guess you have another soldier guy. Do you have the cycle thing? Oh, my God. Yeah, the cycle thing. All right, maybe I didn't play that correctly. I just got my entire board wiped. Uh, you're gonna really need a etherize or something. Okay, I'm dead. I had a pretty sick combo that I was trying to wait for. I was trying to be too cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much damage is this? Uh, right. Well, I don't go to negative life in Moto. I just go to zero. Darn. That's weird. Hmm. All right, all right. I think. I was almost in that game. <laughs> I think that was our closest game yet. Yeah, I th it was better than the games I played with that. I needed double sure. blue. I, I didn't get the double blue. The Evolving Wilds came too late. Alright, this was the game. Oh. Okay, this is it. Oh, this, this land is so bad. <laughs> Temple <laughs> of the False God. Oh. It's an EDH can... staple. A lot of people like it. Like, I guess it's good. Your deck is slower. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that. Uh, I probably shouldn't have kept this hand. This might be the time where, the, <laughs> no, where die Kiora with, gets there. You're going to die with one land in hand? Uh, no, with lots of lands on the battlefield, maybe. Oh, boy. Um, well... I guess we play that as a grizzly bear. <laughs> this is probably helps you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't feel too bad about that. Oh, this if this thing tapped for one mana normally, it wouldn't be so bad. But it kind of just does nothing. Yeah, it seems like weird design. I mean, I guess it would be really good if it tapped for one and then tapped for two later, but... They don't really print lands that don't tap for mana very often anymore. No, well, you got to five lands anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all this effort ramping into my threats. You have to respect them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have a combat trick? What is this? What? Hmm. Oh, that guy's gonna get big. Ooh. Oh, the combo. <laughs> Is that what you were waiting on last game? No, I was waiting on uh, <laughs> something way better. It would have been so sweet. Uh, yes, I would like to do this. I had Plasma Capture and Nimbus Swimmer. 
Oh, I was waiting been... for you to Elspeth. <laughs> I would counter it and untap and cast like a 12 12 flyer. Yeah, that would have been really sweet. Oh man, I didn't know this actually worked on my normal draws too. This thing is sweet. Yeah, it gets big. Okay, what does this card do? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Uh, so he monstrous is to what, an eight, nine? Uh, I guess I can't block that. Oh, oh. I always like that card, Coiling or Oracle. It's a good card. Wait, what? Reveal a top card if it's a land card for that unarmed. Put it into your hand. Did my forest get into the battlefield? Okay. Yeah, you got a forest from it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> the captain. This is like so good. Why do you have all these good cards? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can actually attack finally. Um Oh dear. Ugh. That was bad. Yeah, I don't have enough mana somehow, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem is if I ever draw an Elspeth, you just lose unless you have a counter spell. Like, no matter how many fatties you play, <laughs> I always have that to come off the top of my deck. Just die already. <laughs> uh, that's not what I want to do. Well, oh, whatever. I'll take it. Ooh, ballsy. No Elspeth, please. This deck doesn't have enough islands, I, I feel. Sure. Wait, am I you need it? No. Need more than four islands? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, the stack worked. Am I dead? Oh. Yep, that will do it. I guess that makes sense. I was wondering why you bounce the captain, but now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have blocked last turn. Yeah, this deck won. Oh, no. It's actually not that bad. It, it feels good, but I think you have to draw cards in the right order. It, it suffers from the problem of getting cards out of order. Yeah. It, I mean, and it is kind of fun. It, it does some cool things. You get to draw cards and ramp and play a bunch of fatties. Mm hmm. I think I just run bad no matter what deck I play. I still want my Kiora. We haven't seen Kiora hit the battlefield yet. No, and Elspeth, what, once the first game you played? Okay. Actually, this deck has a lot of islands. 
Oh, interesting. I think I still want Arlen though. Oh. Raising the alarm. Well, I don't trust this at all, so <laughs> have your two damage. Ah, gotcha. The fact that all of your guys are two threes and my guys are two twos is very <laughs> annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, it makes blocking tricky. Yeah, the soldier deck does just kind of naturally buff its own creatures really uh, easily. And if you ever draw uh, Dictate of Helioid, I think that's the, the big pump spell enchantment. That's pretty much game over, I think. And you already represent the combat trick? I don't like this. Hmm. What to do? So you're representing whatever that one one plus one plus one indestructible was earlier. But now you could have the cycling guy. Or you could, could have it. that plus two plus two flying thing. Tons of options. Uh, two, four, six. It's only six damage, but I'm also. <laughs> <laughs> I could double block. Do I want to lose my Kiora's follower? Seems like you really need ramp in that deck, so losing that's an actual cost to give up your follower. Alright, I'll just take it. That works for me too. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may untap. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> the king of the Gus Cloaks, or queen, whatever it is. Oh, the stack. <laughs> Uh-oh, six manos? It's a well, bad air elemental. <laughs> well, it's something at least. Oh, I guess with that Gust Cloak Savior out there, I can just click with attack with everything. Not much downside. Two, four, six. Oh, it doesn't even bounce it? Man. I was hoping I could, like, assassinate some tokens if it flickered. No, they just untap. It's actually kind of a good card. I don't think I've ever played with this card before. Alright, we'll just do this. Or should I just um... count this 3 5? Nah, let's just force the trick. Uh, let me see here. Three, four, five, six. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be ten if I count uh, it. I had three lands and an urban evolution in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I like I like urban evolution, but uh it didn't work out when I had it in my hand either. So, what do you think of the decks? 
Do you think Elspeth is a runaway winner here? Do you think we just played very poorly and drew bad? or? <laughs> well, I don't know. It might be some combination, but I think if I was going to rank the decks, I think Elspeth is definitely maybe a 7, and the blue-green Kiora deck is more like a 5. I think the blue-green deck is fun. Like, uh, even when I was losing, it has a lot of cards I like playing. Coiling Oracle, um, Urban Evolution, Accumulated Knowledge. But like you said, you really got to draw things in the right order. When the white weenie deck, it really doesn't matter what you draw, you're going to curve out. Like the curve is so strong. So it's really hard for the ramp deck to keep up with that strong of a curve. Yeah, I agree. I think this deck is a bit inconsistent. Like sometimes, like the, the game I won, it was, it was pretty nice. Like I, I drew the right cards at the right time and it felt pretty good. But sometimes you just draw all ramp and no threats or you draw all your threats and you know don't have any lands or ramp. Whereas the white deck seems to just always work. It seems very consistent. And it yeah, has it kind a lot of, feels, of powerful cards. It does. It feels a little bit almost like the heroic decks in standard. Like the way it plays out with the combat tricks and a bunch of little creatures. It feels like a very strong limited deck or a bad version of the, the heroic deck in standard is what it reminded me of. The, the Cure deck, uh, I'm not sure what to compare that to. Um, so I don't know. I think that the white deck's stronger, although I don't think it's so unbalanced that if you want to play with your buddy, like, I don't think it's a bad idea to pick up this deck and uh, jam a few matches. Like, the white deck's better, but it's not so much better that it's unplayable. Yeah, so here's the hard question. Would you recommend Elspeth versus Kiora? Uh, yes, I would recommend it. I, uh, I think you can improve the decks fairly easily without much cost like we mentioned during the matches you get some cool cards i mean just right now value wise elspeth is like 15 dollars by itself so that's a good portion of the deck you get a sweet mother of runes with new art uh some other cards with new art so i don't think it's a bad deal for its cost um so yeah i would recommend getting it yeah and i think i, I share that i think it's only 20 dollars, right so yeah it's a fun kind of i say board game replacement like, you know, if you want to just sit down and play a game with, you know, people that don't necessarily play Magic, this is a fun deck to whip out. There are a lot of cool interactions. I actually really enjoyed that white deck. It was actually fun, <laughs> and I would actually play it for fun. <laughs> uh, the ramp deck is a little hard. You know, it, it has cool things. Sometimes it, it kind of just fizzles out. But I think you can also make, you know, very cheap adjustments to these decks. And uh, so for, you know, for $20, I think it's totally worth it considering the price of Elspeth and... Kiora and Mother Runes and stuff like that. So yeah. Agreed. Well, there you have it. Elspeth versus Kiora.